guys, Eric the Travel Guy. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like it, rate it, share it, make the bell ring, and don't forget, every day at four o'clock Eastern, we drop a new video all in celebration of travel. Today, we're gonna learn how to make pantry sauce with my good buddy, Dr. Barbecue, down in St. Pete, Florida. Dr. Barbecue, good to see you, man. Eric, great to see you, man. Been a while. It's been too long already. My, now, you're one of the few guests that when I actually say your name, I, I can feel me start to salivate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quite a compliment. I, I'm used to seeing you, though. We're at some cool location together. It's kind of weird not touching you. Well, <laughs> I don't, we, we are huggers. We are huggers. It's true. <laughs> but you know what? Here's what's cool about this. Right here, talk about a cool location. I've got my, my home set here that we're on. And then we get to we get to a little insight as to where you are, which is are you St. Pete or Clearwater? St. Petersburg. This is this is my new studio. It's also my backyard. <laughs> I love it. And and it's funny, we were talking about this interview of what time of day we were gonna conduct this interview. You're like, oh well, the light is not so good at this hour or this hour. This hour is not <laughs> This dude is working it out. I love it. Um, it's a natural thing. You know, the sun goes over there, and it gets on me, and it wrecks the shot. Just, I mean, please, let's face it. Uh, it's about what you're making and you. I mean, come on. Uh, we were talking last week about what can you do at the house? How can you start to tackle these challenges? One of them, and one of the easiest things, is you and I have had hours-long discussions about salad dressings, marinades, homemade mayonnaise. And, and there's so much of that that you can make at the house. And I was reading an article that you wrote years ago in Food and Wine Magazine, because you are Dr. Barbecue, I mean, come on, about pantry sauce, about barbecue sauce. And you can make your own barbecue sauce at the house. And yes, there are a million ways to do it, but I'm so glad, is that what we're gonna make today? Well, we're going to make this pantry sauce. I guess it's kind of a barbecue sauce. Uh, the, the genesis of it, barbecue sauce in general, is easy to make. And, and you should be working. I always joke about you're working on your lifelong mother sauce. That you start your first barbecue sauce you make, you change it, tweak it, and 20 years later, you finally get it just right. I do that, and mine actually we use at the restaurant now. And that most people do. Unfortunately, there's so much <clears throat> good stuff out there now, like small batch stuff, a lot of people have gotten away from it. It's a shame because it's just not that hard. Now, right. this is a little different. When my first cookbook came out in 2005, Food & Wine wanted to promote the book and do an article about it, which was really cool of them. But they wanted an original recipe. They didn't want to use a recipe out of the book because it's Food & Wine, and they wanted to own it for years to come. So yeah. I had to come up with something. So I had this idea that what if we made a chicken wing sauce that just was things that you had in your pantry? And it couldn't be any simpler. So I did, and, and it's funny, they used it, they liked it, they made a big photo shoot out of the wings with the pantry sauce on it. They just thought it was a cool idea. It actually was in their book, you know how they do a year-end book with the best recipes of the year, and it couldn't be any simpler. And I just looked at it yesterday, they're on their website, it's still there from 2005, it has almost 4,000 reviews, and they're all five star, it's five star review, it's really great. So, you, you know, do stuff like this. And, you know, if this one's a little too spicy for you, just put a little less hot sauce in it. You like it sweeter, put a little sugar. It's not that complicated. All right. Well, let's start with the ingredients list first. What are we going to need to get out and get on the counter? It's all right there in your refrigerator. Ketchup, soy sauce, Dijon mustard or some kind of mustard, hot sauce, and a little bit of brown sugar. Now, you can substitute just about any of this. You know, any kind of sugar is going to work, any kind of mustard, any kind of hot sauce. Ketchup, well, you're going to need that. Right. But if you've got kids, you've got ketchup in the house. I, <laughs> right. I, I, I really don't like ketchup, but I use ketchup in lots of different sauces because it's available to me. Uh, and it has that, it's got that basic, you know, it's got that tomato situation. It's got a little vinegar in it. It's got some spices in it. I'm noticing here, even as we start, where's the salt and pepper? Well, it's all in there. I mean, the soy sauce, I do this a lot. I use, since the day I started cooking and discovered soy sauce, I'll often use soy sauce instead of salt. That just seems like a logical thing to me because it tastes better than salt. But it's really salty. I don't buy the low salt stuff. I buy real soy sauce and just use the right amount. And pepper, well, heck, I got a whole quarter cup of hot sauce here. 
We sure don't need any more pepper than no, that. We're so, good. Don't, you know, don't think about just salt and pepper. Okay, I want something. You know, when you make a sauce, this, it's all about that balance. So you need a base. Like you said, ketchup is always a great base because it doesn't, it's not going to offend anything. Just about anything can go in with the ketchup and make it work. So then you need something salty. You need something sweet. You need something spicy. And you need something acidic. That's the things that make up a, a good barbecue sauce. So now this doesn't have a lot of acidity in it. The mustard's got vinegar, of course. The hot sauce's got vinegar. So I guess it does have more than I'm even saying. You know, those are the ingredients that can come from a lot of different places. What are the amounts we're working with here? So it's one cup of ketchup, one quarter cup of hot sauce. You can, you can drop that down a little bit if it's hot for you. A quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of mustard, same exact amount, and a tablespoon of brown sugar. Now, you may want to double this. Looking back at this recipe, I probably would have made a quarter cup of brown sugar as well because there's a lot of hot sauce, a lot of salty. Again, it's all about that balance. But I don't know. I haven't tasted this in a long time. We'll see what we got. All right. So it's real simple. The ketchup, mustard, this was a stone ground Dijon. Any kind of mustard is going to work. This was crystal hot sauce. I don't generally mess with them crazy hot ones. Uh, if you like that stuff, good for you. Yeah. Soy sauce, I use Kiko Man. I've been using that forever. It's salty as could be, but that's what it is. You just make it work in your recipe. I don't, to me, a low salt soy sauce doesn't make any sense. And then brown sugar, again, you could use, you could use uh, raw sugar, you could use white sugar for that matter. Now, the recipe that was in food and wine called for marinating the wings in this and then basting the wings only to about three quarters of the way done. If you marinate in a sauce like this, you can't leave, you can't eat it then. You could boil it to get it safe, but, or you could just brush it on, but stop while you're still cooking. Um, it doesn't need to be used as a marinade, it's also great as a sauce. The brown sugar in here though, if you're gonna just use it as a sauce, I would throw it in a microwave, just enough to melt the brown sugar in and get it mixed in. First of all, I'm actually stunned at how easy this is. Now, can we use this as a straight up dipping sauce right away as is? You can use it just like it is. You make it a little grainy from the brown sugar. I would probably throw it in the microwave for a minute or two just to warm it up enough to melt the sugar. But other than that, yeah, that's what it is. You know, you can use it as a marinade, but then you're gonna have to cook it or something. Uh, I like it just as a straight up sauce. Man, and what are the applications here? Where we talk about our proteins, Wings, chicken. Yeah, yeah, I think well, wings, chicken for sure uh, would go good on fish. It'd go great on some fish because it's kind of like a spicy barbecue sauce. Don't forget that soy sauce in there too. That's going to give it a little bit of an Asian kind of kick to it. Um, I think even beef. I think it would work on some on some beef, like some beef ribs. I think this would be great. Pork ribs. I think regular old barbecue ribs. I don't know. I haven't tasted it in a long time. I'm going to give it a try. All right, let's see. I probably haven't tasted this recipe in 15 years. It's funny when you get old. You know, the balance is really good. I don't know if I would add some more sugar because I'm not trying to make a, a sweet barbecue sauce. The soy sauce is just enough. The mustard gives it that little bit of vinegar kick. It's hot, but it's not too crazy hot. How long is this sauce going to last? I throw it in the refrigerator. How long? Well. Every one of these ingredients lives in your refrigerator for months. So I don't see why combining them would make any difference. Uh, I, I don't know, a month, six weeks. I probably wouldn't leave it in longer than that. Uh, but it's going to hang around. You could put it in a bottle and just kind of keep it around if you like it. But, you know, I really want to touch on what you said about making it, making it your own. Every one of my recipes, every one of my cookbooks, I try to really emphasize that. If you read a recipe... You know, you may not be an expert to just look at it and say, well, it's got too much of that or too little of that. But when you make it and taste it, if you think this needs to be sweeter, heck yeah, put something sweet in it. And then next time, just put that in from the beginning. You know, you always should make it the way you and your family in particular, you know, just because I like it doesn't mean they will. So make it fit for everybody. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that too, because what's cool about uh, this segment, which we're calling I'm Hungry, We'll Travel Soon, <laughs> What's cool about this is that somebody can hop on an airplane and come down and see you uh, in St. Petersburg, uh, which is in the Tampa area. They're very easy. The, the restaurant, Dr. Barbecue, which you know I love. Um, the flavor profiles that you have presented in the restaurant really do address 
a large swath of, of, of palettes, which I really enjoyed. So it's like, man, you could order off that menu and just keep ordering, keep ordering, and you'll find your way through different flavor profiles. Uh, and you will find your way easily through the proteins and through the sides and through the different sauces. I really think that's a really cool thing. Well, that was the idea. We wanted to feed everybody. We're in a really eclectic part of town. We open a big barbecue restaurant, which, you know, you think about all the meat and in the neighborhood is a whole bunch of vegetarian restaurants. So uh, we want to feed everybody, though. So you you could actually eat your way, eat a very nice dinner a couple of times during the week at our restaurant and not eat any meat. But I wouldn't do that. But it's possible. We wanted to be able to feed everybody. Uh, I'm going to call it like a modern day diner, modern day funky diner. We feed everybody. It's very true. I mean, listen. I, I really am salivating just thinking about the menu. You know I love that menu. We had so much fun talking together. We did an episode on Beyond Your Backyard. Will you come back and show us how to make something again? Sure, yeah. I got my studio set up now. I'm all set. As long as it's not raining or in the afternoon, I can do this anytime you want. I'm waiting for one of my guests to say, uh, no, Eric, I'm very busy out here. I got, no, I got, I got a lot to do. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Barbecue. I appreciate it, my friend. Always good to see you. Eric, great to see you, man. Thanks. Hey, guys, this channel is a celebration of all things travel, so hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment or question, share this video, like it, rate it, whatever. Believe me, it all helps. Thanks for watching.